So here's a video I've made for my other channel. It doesn't have any captions right now, but we're going to change that. I'm going to unmute this track. I'm going to select this track. I'm going to timeline, and then I'm going to create subtitles from audio. Now I leave the language at auto, but you have different options. But in my opinion, auto is the best one. I've experimented with it and it gave me the best results. I'm going to change the caption preset from subtitle default to Netflix. I'm going to leave everything default as is. So I'm going to click create and then it starts to analyze the clip now depending on your computer it can take a while for this to finish and then we see these subtitles disappear now let's zoom in and let's select one now let's say something isn't matching with what's being said right you can select the subtitle and then you can just change something over here so let's say it's not 30 but 13 you can change it manually right if you want to change things like font you'll have to go to the track and then you can change the font here and all the other things. Because what I like to do is I, I like to add in some stroke and some drop shadow as well. With a little bit of offset on the X axis so that the text will be better visible. Now here's the great part. You don't have to select all of them. You can just change it in one and then it will be applied to all the others as well. Now once the captions are to your desired liking and you want to export the clip. Here's something important to know. Because there are multiple options how you can export this subtitle you have to click open this subtitle settings menu and then you need to select export subtitle now it'll allow you to export it as a separate file as embedded captions or burn into the video so if you burn it into the video your final render will contain the subtitles uh, i like to do as a separate file and then export it as an srt and then include the following subtitle tracks in the export check that box and then add it to the render queue and you can render it and then you will see that there is a video file and an srt file which you can upload on your desired video platform